Well, good morning, Katie and John and Belinda. I'm out here on lot six at Burrow Oaks. Thought I'd take a little video as a precursor to our, hopefully, meeting, conference, if you will. Here's the site plan, lot six. And uh, you probably know this already, but that's that outside corner on the right on this cul-de-sac and they usually place place these utility boxes on the lot corners so I'm going to start right here which would be right there on the map and the lot line goes up here at an angle out into the woods here a little bit, I'm sure. This looks like another lot corner. It's an interim corner to hold a lot angle here. Anyway, those woods, part of them are a part of this lot. And uh, I'm gonna pan around this midway point got a nice feel. It looks like about the highest point up here at Burrow Oaks. And uh, kind of nice to feel like you're on top of the world, right? Typically when we're on a site of this nature, because there seems to be plenty of elevation here, you could take a home design and this indicates split level walkout and uh, shape or contour the existing ground to make it work not unusual you've got plenty of ground to do it there's it would be a, simply a question of where the uh, septic fields have been tested for this lot, lot. And I uh, worked with Will Carlson, you know, the developer here on the home that we're building for the Hobbermans up the street there. I know Will, he owns a company called Custom Drywall. And I went over the details of how the septic system and well worked for our Hobberman project. And I can do the same here. In other words, we need to have a site plan indicating where those tests were taken and work with it. But it indicates lookout slash walkout. That just needs a little interpretation. But boy, I tell you, we're up here. It's beautiful. Once again, I think what will be kind of cool to take and hopefully design into the home is this western view where the light comes over the trees in the evening and uh, on top of the world. Thank you. Looking forward to connecting.